What is going on everybody, Zionic here. And in today's video, um, we take this team with shout out to Jay Formacus. If you guys don't know about his um, content, he's a Pokemon Go PvP content creator on YouTube and Twitch. So there's going to be links down to his channel there. Um, but basically I tuned in while having a cup of coffee while he was on Twitch and he reached rank 10 in Ultra League. He grinded his way up reach rank 10 running this team um, so he showcased it very well and I was like you know what congratulations that was awesome run to see I want to try this out myself and I did and I ended up going 4-1 um, um, in this set so it was really fun to play a fantastic team and I think very affordable in terms of accessibility um, Venusaur, Swampert, Community Day Pokemon and then Alolan Muck comes from eggs so really easy to trade around and get this and not too expensive for your dust as well um, so yeah had a great time so shout out to, to J farm huge congratulations on making rank 10 man and we are just gonna go ahead and dive right into these go battle league battles all right getting right into game one here we are leading that Venusaur and we are against Heracross right now so a pretty decent matchup for us but I hadn't simmed this just yet I know frenzy plan is gonna be resisted but I think it can do a decent amount to a Heracross, so we're going to find out right now. We are going to land it, so it does basically about 50%, give or take. Um, now, I know it has access to Mega Horn, so we're going to go ahead and shield right here, and then we're going to bail into Swamper. Now that we're in a one-shield situation, um, I really want to get ahead on energy and draw that Giratina, which we do. Now, it's a Dragon Breath Giratina, so we have to be careful here, but going straight for Earthquake, hoping he thinks we're going to go for Shield Baits, and we land it. So that was really huge right there. Giratina is fantastic when it can correctly shield and we are able to actually land the earthquake which is going to be great for us. Now we're just going to be going straight for hydro cannons um, because I want to put pressure on him and I want to get Giratina lower so I can farm on Alolan Muck. So we're going to land another hydro cannon right there and then hopefully we get to this final one but he pulls the trigger um, on Dragon Claw. So I'm going to go ahead and let my Swampert go down. It did its job and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Alolan Muck. Now things are going to get a little dicey here because he still has two shields so we need to account for that by over farming on energy right here so i can't use a dark pulse against giratina i need residual energy and i need to farm him down um, so the dragon claw is not going to do a lot to us so we're just going to completely farm down for energy and then i know he's probably bringing in that heracross right now which does have some loaded energy so i'm getting ready and then i see it's the heracross because of the yellow health bar so we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger on dark pulse this should get his shield which is going to be great for us and then I'm going to be able to get to another one just as he switches into shift tree though. So that was a fantastic switch on him. So now I need to basically start building up some energy right here. And I know this is leaf blade. Um, and I think I shield right here. No, I decide not to shield. I survived the leaf blade. Now I'm going to go into Venusaur. And I know the sludge bomb right here would take out a shift tree. So this will either take him out or get his final shield, which is a win-win for me. So we are going to get his final shield. Now this is going to be a foul play right here. Foul play is going to do a decent amount, but I need to worry um, about the mega horn slash close combat in the back. So I'm not going to shield. And then this is a leaf blade. And I risk it. I'm like, you know what? I believe in Venusaur. I have to sh not shield. And we barely survive. And he swaps into Heracross on the Sludge Bomb, which is going to be good for us and also good for him because he was able to basically sack swap it. But now we have a shield on our Alolan Muck and we are able to get to Sludge Wave right away. We can successfully shield this right there. So man, that game was close and I really had to hold out my shields on that Venusaur trusting that it could survive the moves from Shift Tree so that I could win this final match with Sludge Wave to take out the Shift Tree. So GG's very well played. So moving into the next battle, um, I'm really liking Venusaur on the lead right here and Swampert on the transition is just so good. It can do a lot of damage damage to most of the meta um, but right now we're leading Venusaur into a Mew so this is like Pandora's box I have no clue what it has I know probably one of the biggest threats in terms of a moveset is going to be that Psy Shock and he's going to get to it relatively quickly but I know Frenzy Plan is going to do a lot of damage to Mew Mew is very squishy so a landed Frenzy Plan is going to do quite a bit like you guys see right there so what we're going to do is we're going to start farming I'm going to go ahead and I think I throw up a shield. No, I decide not to shield just to test his moves. And he does have um, that 
Psyshock. So we're going to go for Frenzy Plant now. I really want to get his shield and then go into Swampert um, on the one shield advantage. But he's a actually able to get a charge move. And I decide to shield my Venusaur because I need to save him for a potential Swampert. So we're going to keep him in the back. And now we're going to switch into Swampert on the transition. And we're going to face an Alolan Muck, which is great for us. Um, because now we can go straight for Earthquake. And it puts him in a predicament where he either has to shield or he's going to get one shot. And he gets one shot. So that is fantastic for us. Um, he was actually able to leave a comment on YouTube on a different video. Let me know that he switched in the wrong Pokemon. Totally fine. It happens. He was meaning to come in with Togekiss. Um, but basically landing that um, Earthquake right there was like the critical um, point in the match. So I just want to say GG's to my opponent. And I know switching sometimes happens. I've done it before um, where you just go into the wrong Pokemon and it's it's okay. It's all good. So Basically, we're actually able to get to um, three <laughs> Hydro Cannons um, and totally take out the shields and health on this Togekiss. So Togekiss is going to go down, and we're going to swap now into a Lolan Muck on the charge move um, because I know Mew is still in the back, and we can basically finish off. Now, he does land a Dazzling Gleam, which does quite a bit, and then Mew is going to come in. So we're going to go ahead and go. We're going to have the shield right here. Psyshock, I think, would take us out from this range. It's going to be neutral, um, but now we can successfully land the Dark Pulse right here. This will be taken out Mew, and then he has Togekiss with basically no health. Um, so that is going to be GG's in Game 2. All right, Game 3. Um, this is going to be a fun one as well. We, face, um, we have Venusaur on the lead against Alolan Muck. Um, so this isn't too good for us. We're going to instantly swap into Swampert because Alolan Muck is basically going to resist all of Venusaur's moves. And then he swaps perfectly um, into a Venusaur for our Swampert. Now we are just going to be blasting Hydro Cannons. I want him to think... Um, well, firstly... I know he's going to pull the trigger here on Frenzy Plant soon. I just want to get off as much damage as I can. And I'd rather get him low than try to risk not landing a Hydro Cannon um, and getting it shielded, if that makes sense. So making him know that these are all Hydro Cannons will still get his shield like it does right there and get him low, which is fantastic. So I'm not going to shield. I know he's ahead on energy. He'd beat me to the next Hydro Cannon anyways. So we're going to go ahead and let the Swampert go down. Now, um, I believe I come in with a Lolan Muck. Okay, yeah. So a Lolan Muck comes in. Um, we're going to be able to resist um, the Sludge Bomb and the Frenzy Plan. It's still going to do a decent amount. You have to kind of respect it, about a quarter. But we're going to be able to farm some energy. I'm just going to go ahead and instantly go for Dark Pulse. I really want to pressure because he's got so much loaded energy on his Venusaur. Um, so I want to get it out of there. And then he still has a Lolan Muck in the back, and I'm not sure what his last Pokemon is. But we are sitting pretty good for the Mirror right now because we're ahead on Shields. Um, so I believe I Shield right here. No, I don't Shield. He goes for Dark Pulse, and I decide to swap into Venusaur um, because I have a feeling I can beat out this Alolan Muck. Um, now, I don't shield right here as well, and he's going for Gunk Shot, which takes out all my health. So I'm sitting pretty low on both of my guys, but I still have shields. Now, what this is telling me is he's kind of staying in this fight, which tells me he has a Swampert in the back. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay here. I'm going to go for Frenzy Plant right now. This should get his final shield, otherwise he's going to have his Swampert versus my Venusaur, so it does get his final shield, and he is going to try to go for another Dark Pulse, um, but I shield right here, so I still have two shields. We're risking it really bad, but he goes for Gunk Shot instead, um, so I think that was kind of a critical error right there, and I'm going to swap now to Alolan Muck because I'm reading that he didn't switch out, which tells me he has Swampert in the back. I'm betting... All my money, 10, 10 times down on Swampert right now that is in the back. And my Venusaur is loaded. It's got a Frenzy Plant. It's ready to go. Um, so we're going to take out that uh, Alolan Muck. And sure enough, it is Swampert. So what we're going to do is go for the Dark Pulse just to do enough chip damage so that guaranteed no matter what Frenzy Plant will take this thing out. And he's going to have to use some energy to take us out. So he goes um, for the Hydro Cannon right away. And then we are going to be able to basically survive by going for Frenzy Plant right away. Um, coming in, taking out the Swampert. Um, so, yeah, tough one right there, but GG's very well played. Moving into the fourth battle here. Um, again, tough, tough opponents today. Really great games. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this. And I think this was the Giratina match. So 
Yeah. So, uh, Venusaur into Giratina Origin. So this is scary as all heck. So I instantly have to switch. I'm switching now into Swampert. And the fact that he's staying in is telling me he's going for Shadow Ball because no one would stay in this and go for Ominous Wind and bail out. So I go for, I shield the Shadow Ball because I know he's going to bail out and he comes in with Snorlax, which is really good for us because we are absolutely loaded on energy. And at this point, we can do very, very well against this Snorlax. As you can see, we already have a back-to-back -back Hydro Cannon. And I don't want to risk a potential earthquake um, being land or being shielded, so all that wasted energy. So we're just going to go for pure hydro cannons. I don't need to shield because body slam's not going to do a lot. It's going to add up, but we can outpace him. And I want to win this switch advantage because in the back I have a Lolan Muck, and I'm guessing he may have something like an Alolan Muck or a Swampert, which is going to be weak to my Venusaur. So I need to make sure I match up. Um, uh, a Lolan Muck to that so I have to win the switch advantage so I'm okay with going two shields in because I'm gonna be able to outpace him in terms of charge moves so as you guys see right here he's gonna be going for a body slam I'm gonna go ahead and shield because he has no shields left now I do need to be wary that he is going to potentially switch on my charge move but he doesn't which is great for us so we are gonna be able to land the hydro cannon this will take out um, the Snorlax right here and then I will be able to appropriately play what comes in so we are going to see Giratina come in we can get off another um, hydro cannon here this is going to be great in terms of chip damage as you guys see a decent little amount right there but now I feel super safe I can bring in a Lolan Muck feeling really good we're going to be resisting all of the moves and sure enough a Swampert's in the back and I can just switch into Venusaur Venusaur can take an earthquake or a sludge wave from this Swampert it doesn't need to worry but what I need to do is get this thing out of here as fast as possible. So the earthquake lands. And then we're just going to instantly go for the Funzy Plant. This is going to be taking out um, that Swampert. And then his Giratina is going to be coming in. Um, now he's going to start farming me down a little bit. But I think he gets a little worried. And he's going to go ahead and go for a charge move. And I'm not don't think he has two charge moves because he goes for Shadow Ball, which tells me he may not have Ominous Wind, but that's okay because we have a Lolan Muck with a Dark Pulse to do super effective damage to take the W for us right here. So GG's very well played. All right, going into the final battle here. Um, so far we are 4-0, which is feeling really good. I'm like, okay, we got this 5-0, but we land another really bad lead for this, and that is Typhlosion. Now I made the mistake of staying in too long, um, I should have just bailed right away into Swampert, but I thought, you know what, maybe I could beat him to Sludge Bomb right here. Um, I want to get a shield, and I know he's kind of loading energy, so I need him to expel some energy on me. So I want to get one shield from him. He goes for his charge move. I know it's going to be Blast Burn. I can't, he's not going to do a Solar Beam. So then what we're going to do is now switch into Swampert on the charge move, um, hoping we can get ahead on energy, and then he comes in with Meganium. So a really hard wall for us. Earthquake would be resistant and so would Hydro Cannon. So I just need to go for Hydro Cannons because if I can get a couple Hydro Cannons in, that's going to be better than nothing. Um, so again, second Hydro Cannon right here. Again, not doing too much, but we get the Meganium to 50% HP, which is great for us. Now he is going to use his charge move right now. That's okay. Swampert did its job. Um, it took the Meganium down low enough for us. Now... I believe I come back in with Venusaur. Yeah, I do come back in with Venusaur to start loading up on energy. Um, and then he's getting off a charge move right here. I'm guessing it's going to be um, Earthquake, which it is. So I go ahead and shield that. It would have done quite a bit. Now, I could have loaded up more on energy right there. I definitely think I should have instead of going straight for the Sludge Bomb um, because I know his Typhlosion is going to be coming in, so I need to switch instantly into Alolan Muck, and he does a great job of holding his energy um, versus um, my Venusaur so that basically he knew he knew that I was going to switch. Um, so Alolan Muck's going to come into Poliwrath. We are going to get his final shield. Now, Poliwrath's going to have access to Ice Punch and Dynamic Punch. There could be a lot of moves it has, but most likely it's going to be Dynamic Punch, which is going to be neutral to us. So we are going to be able to get to the Sludge Wave now. This is going to do quite a bit um, of damage. And basically what I need to do is dance or control the energy on my Venusaur to be able to take out Typhlosion and Poliwrath. Um, but my opponent makes a really great play um, that I was somewhat ready for, but I didn't get the CMP win. So what you're going to see here is we're going to see him bail. He's going to do an Ice Beam. 
and I'm expecting him to bail at some point, so I'm waiting to pull the trigger on Sludge Bomb, and I see him basically bail right now, so I click Sludge Bomb, but he gets the CMP win, so a fantastic play by my opponent right there, getting the Blast Burn, and that is going to be GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys found it informative. I had a really great time running this team. Um, Swampert is one of my favorite picks um, now for Ultra League, along with Alolan Muck, and Venusaur's really growing on me. He's got a lot of potential in the meta, um, so I think this is a really fun team, really cost-effective, and it can definitely get you some wins in tough situations, especially when you lose lead. So like all always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.